very cold times. We've been here where it was hot. I feel like we played this place once. I was literally called like the fire or something. That real thing. I can't tell by your faces, but I feel like it was called something like fire trap or the fire. Or I hope you have your life insurance up to date because you're gonna die. It was, it was like called something like that. Anyways, we started out, uh, we, our first show in, in Philadelphia was in the year 2000. I think about this, I think about this all the time because when we were growing up, one of the movies that I remember seeing when I was a kid was that science fiction movie, Space, uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey. And, like, just to be clear, that movie came out in the 70s, but sometimes I think, like, our career started before... 2001 A Space Odyssey, which is maybe, oh I don't even, I don't even do pot, but I just think sometimes, like, that's a weird thing, like, just imagine that in the future, 2001 A Space Odyssey could have happened, but we would have started our career just one year before that, that's how fucking old we are, anyways, uh, we've been to Philadelphia so many times, we've played small places, we've opened for people, I used to love, we used to play the, the TLA all the time, We slept in our, we, when we first got a tour bus, we didn't really understand tour buses, so we would just park it everywhere, which is kind of like parking, like a, like if you got a, like a, sh, like a shitty, like a stupid Lamborghini or something, and then you would just park your Lamborghini in like dangerous neighborhoods, and you're like, I don't know why our Lamborghini was targeted so much. I, it's so weird. Anyways, we used to park our tour bus in dangerous neighborhoods all the time and be like, we're just sleeping here. I don't know why there were so many people threatening our lives and banging on the bus all night long. Anyways, it didn't happen in Philadelphia, but I remember a tour where we played in Philadelphia and then we parked somewhere outside of Philadelphia and then these people who were, we called bangers, which were old, so that just means people who are really into metal. Is it? It's a genre. It doesn't matter. Anyways, it, they, they tried to attack. You mean it doesn't matter that they didn't respond to that? You aren't saying metal doesn't matter. Oh, no, no. Just no, 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 no. always matter. Roses, everyone. I bet you don't love seeing Axel Rose's bare, 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 hairless chest singing in front of a grave to his dead partner. It's the best video. November rain, please. Okay. Anyways, so many just dead faces right now. It doesn't matter. The point is that these bangers, they actually had clothes on, they weren't even bare chested, but they. They banged on our bus and they kept screaming, which was humiliating. They kept screaming, Bon Jovi, Bon Jovi, come out. But we weren't even Bon Jovi, so. Like, not even close. I kept imagining, like, if they kept being like, Bon Jovi, just come out! And then if Tegan just came out, I was like, hi. I'm kind of like gay Bon Jovi. <laughs> supporting us for so long. I guess that's the point of the, this whole thing is just thanks so much for coming out. Thanks so much for coming out. Thank you for thank you for supporting our shows. Thank you for coming out of the closet if you did. I don't think thank you for thank you for using a lot of thank you for using a lot of Bon Jovi at, uh, at karaoke. Nope, that's me. I do that. Anyways this uh this next batch of songs is from an album uh, some of you might have heard of. Uh, it's called The Con. And here we